And our word for today on this Monday of the 31st week in ordinary time, this Monday, November the 6th, our word for today is invite, invite our word for today. And I invite Father Mark Davis forward to give his thoughts on our word for today and our readings for today. Good morning, Father. Welcome. Well, thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, well, you're welcome. But I'm, I'm, I am expect, I am expecting something in return. So I'm actually not following. Uh, I didn't. I did not. For I did not bring any wine for you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, you know what? Speaking of invite, there's nothing going on today. We usually have the. We have a 1205 Mass today, a Mass for Life with yes. Bishop right. Daniel Thomas. So, uh, but uh, we wanted to get to you right away. Oh, that's good. So, invite. <laughs> so, this comes from today's Gospel from Luke about um, Jesus saying, if you hold a lunch or dinner, don't invite your friends or your brothers or sisters, but people that you don't know, go out and invite the poor and other people. So it reminded me of a story. Mm, Surprise. (laughs) Really? That's amazing. One Sunday morning, an old cowboy entered a church just before services were to begin. Although the old man and his clothes were spotlessly clean, he wore jeans, a denim shirt, and boots that were very worn. In his hand, he carried a worn-out old hat and an equally worn-out Bible. The church he entered was in a very upscale and exclusive part of the city. It was the largest and most beautiful church the old cowboy had ever seen. The people of the congregation were all dressed with expensive clothes and accessories. As the cowboy took a seat, the others moved away from him. No one greeted him, spoke to him, or welcomed him. Mm. They were all appalled at his appearance and did not attempt to hide it. As the old cowboy was leaving the church, the preacher approached him and asked the cowboy to do him a favor. Hey, before you come back here again, have a talk with God and ask him what he thinks would be appropriate attire for worship. The old cowboy assured the preacher he would. Next Sunday, he showed back up in the same way. Once again, he was completely shunned and ignored. The preacher approached the man and said, I thought I asked you to speak to God before you came back to our church. I did. If you spoke to God, what did he tell you the proper attire should be worshiping in here? Asked the preacher. Well, as God told me he didn't have a clue what I should wear, he said he'd never been in this church. That's good. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. God's ways are not our ways. His <laughs> thoughts, not our thoughts. Oh. Oh, it's just fine. That's an old one, but it's fun. So this is an interesting gospel. And as far as culture, so in those days, you you threw parties for your friends and your family. Mm. Remember, all of Nazareth and those small towns were your extended, mm. you, you know, family. So then, I think when you had a little more food, then then and then they didn't have freezers, right. you know, or even refrigeration. Sometimes, if you had extra, then you threw a big meal and then you invited your group. Mm-hmm. And so then, when they had extra, they invited you. So th- I think that was a way that they took care of one another, mm. but it also became very exclusive. As you could see, it would be, and then a lot of people were excluded from that and, and and didn't have enough to eat. So I was trying to think about how to apply this to now, and I'm thinking, you know, even as a pastor, I don't throw very many big parties. Mm-hmm. You, you know, just I'm too busy. You you know, but I was at our reverse raffle last Saturday which was a wonderful event, and we sold out. And, you know, know, those of you listening, most parishes have some kind of fundraiser, but this is just a dinner. You pay a certain amount, and it's a reverse raffle. They sell 400 tickets, and the last um, number drawn is the winner. Mm -hmm. So this year, I think there were seven that decided they were the last seven, and they decided just to split the money. Oh, nice. So that, it was really very, very nice. So... Here's what I what I thought was. So I happened to invite a friend of mine, you know, who's kind of new to the parish. And then I'm thinking, okay, when we get our meal, who do we sit with? Yeah, right. So this mm-hmm. is a different, instead mm-hmm. of who do I invite, like what table do you sit with? Yeah. And I found is, and I found over the years, that sometimes, you know, it's so easy to sit with the people you always sit with, mm. you know. But again, okay, who can I invite this person 
to or, or introduce them to. And I'm thinking, well, there's a lot of people I don't know. There's a lot of people on our athletic board um, who invite people that work with and things. And But what I found is when I sit with people that I don't know or even people who look you know, you know, a little uncomfortable or her, who, you know, there's just a gut feeling sometimes to saying, wow, I don't know them. They don't seem real friendly. Oftentimes when you just sit down with them or say hello, it's amazing how much fun you have. Oh, amen. And yeah. so I think this is a different take on this. But if you just think about social situations, oftentimes when we kind of take a little risk out of our box and just say hello, I mean, it wasn't just at the eating time, but this this mm. kind of event, since I just went there, you know, there's all kinds of people and just going up and saying hello or being able to, you know, make small talk at the grocery store. You, you know, when we're out in public and other things, just being able to talk to people that we normally wouldn't talk to, it's amazing how much fun it is. Mm. And, 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 and that how much, not only do they appreciate it, but how much grace that we receive spiritually. Remember, Jesus is a spiritual teacher. Mm. This is like a secret of being able to say, who can we reach out to today? Mm. Who can we say hello to? Who can we invite? Who can we interact with today that we usually don't? And what kind of gift can God give us spiritually? Because whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do literally to Jesus himself. Mm. God bless you. Have a good week. Thank you, Father Mark. Thank you, Father Mark.